feel like our video blogs are becoming almost reality TV. Um, I'm about to go into the office. It's early in the morning and do the results checklist from our meetings yesterday and the day before. And uh, what's good about these checklists is they help drive action. But what I wanted to share with you is yesterday there was a meeting with a couple that own a business. And they've had a real rough last four or five years. And in talking with them, they've kind of lost their identity. Um, they don't know who they are anymore. They're extremely fatigued spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Uh, they almost went bankrupt about three years ago. They were able to skitch through, and now they're healing up. So there's been a lot of good stuff that's happened on the financial capital side, but the expenditure of spiritual, emotional, mental energy has left them not knowing who they are individually as a couple, and they're trying to raise some kids, uh, as well as protect a, a business. And in the course of this, our theme the last three or four years with clients uh, that are in a certain stage has been how to prevent becoming broken or how to become unbroken. And what's got to occur is two things. Uh, number one is they've got to figure out who they are again, and that's not a financial thing. It's a what's inside, what do they believe, what do they stand for. And if their life were to never get any better for whatever reason, how could they still live a wonderful, dignified, honorable life, raise their kids well, do honor to the business, the relationships they have. And I think they're doing a good job at it right now, actually. They just don't feel it, so they're running out of steam to keep going. So number one, they've got to find uh, an identity. The second thing is I see a lot of anger, frustration. I see a lot of energy that's very good for powering through when you're in difficult situations, but it's not energy you can run on for three or four years. You've got to find love. You've got to find an inner joy. You've got to find almost a perverse pleasure in enjoying the challenge and rising to it and using it to make you better. So I wanted to share that with you is if you think there's a possibility you or someone around you is uh, becoming broken uh, with either not knowing who they are or using negative emotion for fuel, uh, it's something very important for you to do about. Uh, our leadership forum actually once a month, uh, the last Monday of every month, this sometimes is the topic of how to prevent or get out of that fatigue. Thank you.